How are you doing? This is Sean McVay with Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and I am so excited to bring you the 2017 Map Reading Challenge. And this year, we are taking things to a whole new level. I mean, I have 12 guys, four teams, three guys on each team, and they are all competing for a brand new Bowtech Rain 6. As a team, they also have a chance to win an XOP Air Raid Hang On Tree Stand. And you know if you've been following the series that you also have a chance to win a Bowtech Rain 6. And you also have a chance to win an XOP Air Raid Hang On Tree Stand. And if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to cover that a little bit later in the episode. But for now, this I need you to realize this episode counts toward the guy's overall score. So if you want this guy to win and his team to win, you need to really help him out by promoting his video, by sharing it with as many people as you can and say, hey, watch this video, help my friend win a brand new Bowtech Rain 6. In this video, we're gonna be following Silvio Nalem. And I'll tell you what, he had a rough start to the scout trip. He couldn't even make it for the first day of the scout trip. And I think it was related to sort of a last minute order on Amazon for his snake bite chat or his snake chaps and they just didn't come in time. And so my advice to any of you who are thinking of ever coming on a map reading challenge is do not procrastinate, do not wait till the last minute, and do not count on two days shipping from Amazon to get you what you need. So let's check in with Silvio after he recovered from that got out to the map reading challenge for the last, we did a half day. We did a full day of scouting and then a half day. So he made it for the half day of scouting. Silvio, let's see what he saw on the map reading challenge scouting portion. And let me say this before we go over to Silvio. If you want to help Silvio out, you know, remember the total view count on this video is being added to his overall score. So if you want to help him out, make sure you share this video with as many people as possible. Get his score to run up a little bit and make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video so I can tell you how you can win a Bowtech Rain 6, you can win an XOP Air Raid Hang On Tree Stand. For now, let's check out what Silvio had to say. Mr. Silvio, welcome to base camp. What a whirlwind it's been, you made it here. Yeah. And let me tell you something, folks. Um, so, in life you have to roll with the punches and trust God. And Silvio and I both know this. So yesterday, Silvio was unable to make it to the start of the scout. And, um, I think was were you concerned that I wasn't going to have you come or something like that? Or? Yes, I was concerned. Okay. I, you know, I said, you know what? If you want to come and if you can come, you are invited. Stuff happens, and I trust in God. And tell me, tell me, as a result of all that took transpired and took place, what ended up happening for you, Silvio? All right. So I missed the first day, and I, I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna. With the help of God, I'm going to make it. I'm going to get up there. I'm going to do some serious scouting. And uh, it just so happens that where I ended up going today, first spot, I start walking in about a mile in. I'm trying to find where my teammates are. And I'm walking in and I see movement. Six brown things moving. So I'm figuring it's uh, one of those, you know, dough beds. All of a sudden I see... a. Uh, eight point bruiser buck get up and he starts making it across some little cut and I said I'm gonna circle around him and I'm gonna see what he looks like up close if I could get to him the wind was in my favor was blowing in my face so that that'll that'll work out so as I started creeping up I started to go slower and slower and slower because I was afraid I was gonna spook him when I get there he just ran across the little trail and he just uh, tail end this one so the next thing I see is I, I think it's a doe it's, she's coming it's a big doe. So I settle down, and all of a sudden, this massive bullwinkle <laughs> white-tailed deer. Full velvet, Giant. rack out to here. Pennsylvania public land Pennsylvania buck, Pennsylvania public land buck with a lot of minerals mm -hmm. uh, in his system. Uh, he just stops and stares at me. Turns, I mean, we got this whole five-minute thing going on. It was a love affair. <laughs> um, it was so long that I actually had to take a knee. Yeah. and wait him out. Uh, I notice that the wind starts to change, and I know he's going to see me, and he's going to huff. I'm trying to see the other four deer that's behind him, and he takes a look, does a stomp, does a snort wheeze, and the flag goes up, and he's out of there. So I tried to trail him. I try to call him out, call out to him with a snort wheeze back. He kind of stops about a 
50 yards away. Probably just a regular snort. Yeah, yeah just... like a little snort. Yeah. And he just keeps going and poof. And uh, that was it. And uh, I said, you know what? I got to go take a look at what, what this magic area is all about. So, of course, I circle around. I walk there and it's a blueberry patch. Mm. They were all just sitting there just filling up on blueberries. Chilling with the blueberries. Chilling with the blueberries. Damn blueberries. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting morning. Yeah. And after that, I saw a couple of other things that uh, really piqued my interest. Uh, really good spot. Like this spot a lot better than last year's spot. Last year's was a little, a little tough. Yeah. Hopefully, we don't get the typhoon rains. Yeah. <laughs> like last year. Well, last uh, night, you I weren't was, here, but we I got hammered. I, mean, I was up most of the night with that slamming rain we had. And I brought my hammock just hey. in case, but but uh, yeah, no, it's a it's a good day. It was a good day. That was a, praise the Lord. It, yeah, it was a beautiful sighting. I mean, that exciting. So I'm exciting. excited for you, man. I hope. I hope that boy comes walking back in front of you when we come back for the hunt, man. I hope so. Either him or one of his uh, compadres. Yeah. All right, man. Well, good luck to you. Thanks, Sean. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. All right, so Silvio had a great encounter. I do have my concerns, though. You know, it's not money in the bank. You, you know, he found those deer feeding on blueberries in the first week of August. The acorns have been raining down this year like rain and they are everywhere in the forest. This time of year, the deer transition hard into the feeding on the acorns because that's where they get the fat reserve and the protein they need to get them through the winter. Did Silvio find enough acorn production in his area that he scouted to really put himself on the deer come the actual hunt? That I don't know. Are those deer still gonna be hanging out in the area? He saw him because of this shift in, in food sources. I don't know. You know, so those are my concerns. Did Silvio get enough information down to actually be successful when we go back? That's really cool that he encountered a really nice big buck. Will he be able to find him come the actual hunt? I am looking forward to finding out. But if you want to help Silvio in the meantime, and if you're a little concerned that maybe he's not going to be able to find that buck come the hunt, make sure you help him by sharing this video with as many people as possible because this... The total view count on this video is going to be added to his total score for the map reading challenge. And it's the total score that's going to win him the Bowtech Rain 6. And his team's total score, the, the team with the highest overall score, that team wins the XOP Air Raid Hang On Tree Stands. So follow the link for the in the description section of this video. It's going to take you over to my website. You'll be able to see all the details for getting your name in the mix for you to win a Bowtech Rain 6 and just sign up for my newsletter to get the opportunity for you to win an XOP Air Raid Hang On Tree Stand and make sure you stay tuned for the next video because I got another one coming out tomorrow. Until then, take care and God bless.